We've talked about sine and cosine and their relationships to the unit circle, but how is tangent related to the unit circle? Tangent, as you recall, represents the slope of the angle as it travels around the unit circle because it's sine divided by cosine or rise over run. So we start out at zero degrees and the slope or the tangent value is zero. Now as we move around the unit circle, notice that the slope of the angle increases. And you can see this, the tangent graph is curving up. Now what happens as we get to pi over 2? Because at pi over 2, slope is undefined. And you'll see, I think if I can get it there, right up there, we see x is 1.571, which is pi over 2, and its slope is undefined. And you see this line here. Basically, there is a place at which there is no tangent value. And we represent this on the graph by drawing an asymptote, usually denoted by some sort of a dotted line. Um, so this is an undefined value. There is no value there. So what happens then as we move into quadrant 2? Well, quadrant 2, the slope becomes negative. So you'll notice now the graph moving up from down here, we see a very negative slope, um, very steep, becoming less steep as we approach pi. At pi, we're at zero slope. Notice we had these were negative values for slope in quadrant two, and now we're going to have positive values for slope in quadrant three. Once again, as we approach three pi over two, the slope approaches, it becomes very, very steep, and basically approaches infinity. It becomes infinitely steep, but when we would get exactly to three pi over two, let's see if I can get exactly at three pi over two, that's hard. It's undefined. Once again, when we go into quadrant four now, we have negative slopes. So we see the graph, the, the y values are coming up from the negative side now. Negative slope, negative slope, and then we get to zero slope. So the steeper parts of the graph as we approach the undefined values are very steep slopes, infinitely steep slopes. We would have an asymptote at pi over two and three pi over two. Now let, uh, if we kept going, it would keep, continue on. So this would cycle through. I'm going to go backwards here and also show that what happens on the other side of the graph. So we have basically these curved shapes that go every pi over 2 units. So from 0, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, then we have an asymptote. Then from pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2, then we have another asymptote. Then from 3 pi over 2 to that one, next one would be 5 pi over 2, and we'd have another asymptote. Um, and so there's this little section of graph where there's a negative slope and then a positive slope and then we have undefined slope and then we have negative slope and then zero slope, positive slope, undefined. So this is what a tangent graph looks like.